The world of online shopping is growing bigger by the day, especially with the nearly 50% increase from last year alone. The ease of it is the biggest appeal, never having to worry about a store not having your size in the back, or waiting in long lines. But what if I told you that there was something that made online shopping even better, and that it was free and works in seconds? Well, that is exactly what today's sponsor, Honey, does. Honey searches for promo codes to make sure that you are getting the best deal out there. Just the other day, I was looking for a new overnight bag and I found one on Target. I went to check out and wanted to make sure that I was getting the best price. Not only did Honey let me know that it had gone down in price, but it searched through numerous promo codes to make sure that I really was getting the best deal. It literally takes seconds and you don't have to jump through numerous hoops to use it. All it takes is two clicks to set up and then it runs in the background and alerts you when codes are available. Honey works on stores like Nike, Ulta, GameStop, Apple, Amazon, and countless more. So head on over to joinhoney.com forward slash cadaver and add their browser extension to start shopping smarter, not harder. The world is a very scary place. There are threats from both internal and external forces that could change a person's life forever in the blink of an eye. And for those very reasons, we have, as a society, developed a system to help prevent these things from happening. If you find yourself in legal trouble, you have the judicial system at your disposal. If you are suffering from negative mental health, then there are numerous means at which to aid you. These systems are put into place to better a person's life, and if things have gotten too bad, to remove them from a living situation altogether, in hopes of making their future brighter and more positive. We as a society tend to put blind faith in these public servants to assist us when we need it the most. But unfortunately, it doesn't always work out that way. The true scary thing about monsters is that they blend in as normal people so well. They don't look like how they do in the horror movies. And with this seemingly perfect ability to blend in and lie to avoid suspicion, it makes it that much harder to know who to really trust. And this is the type of situation that Reddit user BabyBlue17 found themselves in. A situation with potentially devastating consequences. To take from them what most hold closest in life. Their family. Or, more accurately, their child. This is the story of Baby Blues 17. I'm pregnant and being investigated by DCS. I'm 29 years old, happily married, and my husband and I are college educated, have respectable, stable jobs, own a home in a nice neighborhood. We're basically as prepared as anyone can be to start a family. I'm almost nine months pregnant with our first child. The problem is that 11 years ago, when my husband was a freshman in college, he was arrested for possession of marijuana. It was a large enough amount that he was charged with a Class D felony. Our jurisdiction is very harsh regarding marijuana, but not intent to deal. He pled guilty and did his time and probation without a problem, passing every drug test along the way. He has not touched marijuana or any other illegal substance since, and haven't at all in over a year. I have no criminal record, and I have never done drugs myself. It was a stupid mistake he made as a foolish 18 year old and he's worked very hard to put it behind him. Someone has apparently contacted child services in our area and informed them that we are drug users. This accusation is being taken very seriously because of my husband's record. We have been as cooperative as we could with our caseworker. We've been interviewed, our home has been examined and she has found nothing remotely suspicious or incriminating. We have both taken drug tests and passed. Our caseworker says that everything looks fine so far. Unfortunately, she also says that there's still the possibility that our child could be taken from us in the labor and delivery ward, and that we won't be allowed to take her home. I was devastated and horrified to hear that. 
When I asked why, she said it was not up to her, and we'll have to wait and see, which made absolutely no sense to me. What gives? I feel like there's something she isn't telling me. But I have no experience with DCS, and I'm not aware of anything we could have possibly done wrong. I know that they'll have to test my daughter for drugs once she's born, but she has not been exposed to drugs, nothing more than prenatal vitamins, not even Tylenol. I have already proved that by passing a drug test. I'm scared and confused. Do I need a lawyer? I have anticipated spending our savings on our new daughter slash parental leave, but I will use that money for a lawyer if I have to. Thanks for reading, and thanks in advance for your help. Now, I know that is a lot to unpack. OP is scared to death that DCS is now investigating her and her husband due to something that happened over a decade prior. The real-life fear that OP is clearly showing is enough to make anyone reading this get a sick feeling in their stomach. Being at risk for having their child taken away from them is something no parent ever wants to feel. But I can imagine that it is that much greater when the child hasn't even been born yet. The thoughts possibly flooding the minds of both parents are no doubt crippling, fearing they will never get to hold their child, celebrate birthdays, teaching their child how to ride a bike, and be there for when they hurt themselves and need mom and dad to make it better. It's enough to break anyone's heart, honestly. And for what? Weed? A drug that seemingly is becoming more and more legal each year? And because of that, they are now at risk for losing their child before they are even born? Yet, that is what seems to stand out about this post. How is DCS investigating a child who isn't yet born? People found this post, and it appeared that they were wondering the same thing. I am a former Indiana CPS investigator slash assessor. Something here is not making any sense at all. Unless the law has changed greatly in the last few years when I left the department. As of this moment, you are pregnant, correct? You don't have any children. They are investigating the fetus. Former CPS worker here too. Agree with you, CPS does not investigate pregnant women with no current children. Something is not right. Something clearly isn't right here. So, I decided to investigate it firsthand and contacted a friend of mine who actually works in DCS. And I gave them a hypothetical that was almost identical to OP's story. And what I was told fell in line with what many people on the post were saying. That something is very wrong here. DCS doesn't investigate children who are not yet born. And even in the most extreme cases, there has to be overwhelming evidence of ongoing abuse both before and after the birth of a child for them to get involved. And even then, in that instance, it is still a very slow process. The last thing the department wants to do is take a child away from their parents. Not only due to the obvious reasons that the parents' world would shatter, but also, and most importantly, for the child. Children need their parents. As blunt as that is, they need a support system that isn't just seen as something convenient, but permanent. I am not sure if this is true for all 50 states in the US, but from what I have researched, they mostly all fall into the same do's and don'ts. From one article that I read online, states that the DCP cannot make any determinations until after the child is born at which point it will assess whether the child has suffered any actual harm as a result of the mother's drug use. Yet, OP has tested clean every time she took a drug test, so what possible investigation would even be needed? Why is this even happening? In fact, even if you take into account that the only thing that started this entire ordeal was that the husband had a Class D felony from 11 years prior, since then, he has had zero arrest and has never used any substance since. Indiana state law says that after eight years, as long as there is not bodily harm, which it wasn't, then it can be expunged. Granted, the husband would have to have that requested himself, but still, if DCS is looking into this and sees that clearly there is nothing bad going on here, 
then why the hell are they continuing a pointless investigation? Well, the truth about it eventually came out. And the answer was shocking. Update. I'm pregnant and being investigated by DCS. Here is my original post. When I made it, I was advised to get a lawyer right away. I was also advised that Indiana's DCS doesn't investigate pregnant women who don't already have kids, and that the woman claiming to be a social worker might be an imposter. I contacted and met with a lawyer and explained the situation to him. He seemed to agree that something was very fishy. To make a long story short, the woman handling our case has no affiliation with DCS. I'm still in complete shock. We went straight to the police. They are taking this very seriously. I can't give a lot of details because it's an ongoing investigation, but she seems to have been a very skilled and well-researched liar. I never would have known anything was amiss without the advice of this subreddit and the intervention of my attorney. I feel like a complete idiot, but the instinct to cooperate unquestioningly when faced with an intimidating authority figure is strong. I haven't had the baby yet. We are staying at a trusted family member's home until the baby is born. My QB and the hospital we'll be delivering at have already been informed of the situation and will be taking the appropriate security measures. I'm still freaking out, but we're taking every precaution for the safety of my child, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Thanks again, everybody. Truly. You know, at this point, I would honestly say that I could have guessed the ending, but I really was hoping that it wasn't that. I was hoping that they had the wrong people or something, not that it was becoming obvious that this social worker was an imposter and planning on more than likely taking their child away from them. This is what I mean earlier, that true monsters can hide so easily that they will lie, deceive, and use anybody to get what they ultimately want. Who knows what they would have done with their child if they were able to get away with this sick plan, and I don't even want to think about what could have happened if they succeeded. Thankfully, OP was able to get both DCS and law enforcement aware of the situation, and it appeared that it was handled correctly. I can only hope that their child was born healthy and that the family is living a happy life. Because honestly, this story needs somewhat of a decent ending after all. Reddit hasn't heard from Baby Blue 17 since then, so it's safe to assume that nothing came from this in any negative way against them. Or at least I hope that is the case. This is a good lesson that if something seems off and your gut is giving you that funny feeling, then it would be a good idea to listen to it. People, or more so monsters out there, will literally do anything to get what they want, regardless of who it hurts along the way. And that is the story of Baby Blue 17. I want to give a special thanks to Honey for sponsoring today's video, as well as my patrons, especially my top tier patrons. Borgolf the Straightener, KCD, Jace, A Dumb Thought, Beat Beat Bananas, Blake, Boop, Danny Nunez, Flampaya, Jason Fontella, Lena, Nixie Ondina, OOD Hamhord, Robert Rep, Ryan93, Esbeev, and Skelly. I will see you all in the next video. Remember to stay safe out there, friends. Good night.